this is the entrance to the Space Shuttle Atlantis experience here at the Kennedy Space Center. Let's go in and have a look. This is Space Shuttle Atlantis, 30 plus missions into outer space, and was NASA's idea of a reusable spacecraft. The Saturn system, or rocket launch system, had been put to bed, and NASA designed this space shuttle to be launched into low Earth orbit to help NASA astronauts learn what it's like to live in zero gravity. The irony of such a big launch vehicle is that the crew only lived in this section here. The vast majority of the spacecraft had this huge loading bay in the back where satellites and research modules and things like that could be placed. And obviously at the rear is the, the engines that were fueled by that external fuel tank. Whilst this spaceship operated in orbit, only two small rocket engines at the back enabled it to enabled it to manoeuvre and do that important deorbit burn. The actual living quarters on the space shuttle weren't really very big, but the payload bays were. And you can see that actually one of the payloads that the shuttle delivered was the Hubble telescope, which you can see behind me. Of course, the Hubble telescope started off quite rocky, where they had a gross miscalculation of the mirror inside it. But of course, again, the space shuttle went up and fixed that problem, and later went and did a final service mission for the Hubble telescope, which continues even now today to send information back to Earth. Although predominantly built in the United, by United States engineers, the Canada arm was Canada's contribution to the space shuttle program, which enabled astronauts to maneuver things outside the launch bay. The base of the space shuttle was lined with these special tiles that were made of composite material, foam, and hot resistant material so that when the space shuttle did that deorbit burn and started to come into the Earth's atmosphere, it was able to protect it from the massive amount of friction that the Earth's atmosphere created. I'm not gonna lie to you, I watched a lot of these launches as a kid and always wanted to go up in a space shuttle or a rocket of some kind. I actually even joked that I would be the first spiritual advisor on the moon or in Mars. Now I recognize my intellectual ability perhaps has prevented me from doing that. But seeing these machines, uh, which took people into outer space, which put satellites like the Hubble telescope into place, really is awe inspiring of what mankind can do when they're operating at the best of their ability. This is the Space Shuttle Atlantis. It's the last space shuttle that went into outer space. And I can't think of a better fitting resting place for it here at Kennedy Space Center, where people can come and see what she did over the course of the missions that took place. Now, the future is the Artemis program, and I know that even now, Artemis are gearing up for that first test launch that will take, eventually take man back to space. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out with me on YouTube today, and I look forward to bringing you other exciting bits of content.